Uh, some pupils are challenging and tough to teach. Any teacher will tell you that. And here at this school in East Yorkshire, Ghoul High, they've been experimenting with a scheme that brings in former soldiers to help out in the classroom one day a week. Now, it's run by the educational charity Skillforce. And the first day we were here, back in September, we did have somebody storm out of the classroom and not return. And not every pupil has lasted the course. But generally, does this school regard the whole scheme as a success or a failure? We came back to the classrooms here to find out. Thank you. Discipline plays an important role in every classroom. Here, that means no phones and only positive attitudes. Liga, can you get your head off the table, please? Liga, Liga, thank you. Throughout this school year, Andy has been working one day a week with a group of pupils who have had problems and in some cases caused problems. As a former soldier, it was hoped that he would inspire some of the class, but has it made a difference? The attendance has improved, they're happier to be here and actually all of them now that are in the year 11 have got uh, college placements and are ready to go into the future. Whereas if you'd looked at similar cohorts in the past, I think you would have seen a very different picture. And go one, two, three, lift! Encouraging them to push themselves is all part of the plan. Nice and tight, nice and tight. This That's might not be very on. academic, but getting this lot to work together is helping to build practical skills that will be important in a job. And the difference between success and failure? Well, it's pretty obvious here. I'll jump on that one. We actually worked as a team, they didn't, so we just had to like figured it all out how to do it. There's no doubt that it's easier to improve their attendance rates for something like this rather than maths or English. But the pupils insist it's not an easy option. After this we'll probably have to write loads of work at back at school class, what we've done, how we've done it. So we've got some evidence to prove that we've actually done this. And back in that classroom, there's a chance to reflect on the last year. I never used to come to school. Like, never. And then, yeah, as I started skill class, then I started to think what I'm supposed to do and stuff for when I leave school. Liga, do you see a change in other people in the class? Yeah. What change do you see in Jack? He's more calm than he used to be. And do you see that yourself, Jack? Yeah. I've grown up a bit more whilst being in here. Like, ages ago, I just, I didn't, I just threw pencils about and was being, like, really immature. Now I've, like, grown up a bit more. I think we have helped taking out these difficult hard to reach kids and giving them another goal or target to work towards some of these pupils are now moving away from the support of school but it's hoped the extra help they received here will get them into work or college well, that's what some of the pupils and the teachers here think. Let's speak to the chief executive of Skillforce, the charity that's been running this. When you take a look at the children over the year, do you think it's made a difference to them? Yes, yeah, definitely made a difference. I mean, Liga and Jack have come on hugely in the, in the last year. They're full of confidence now, behaviours improved, they're turning up, and I think they're going to have very successful lives working into college into the future. Turning up is a big thing and also encouraging them to stay in the classroom. Now, part of what your charity's been doing now is working towards children who perhaps wouldn't be staying in school, kids that perhaps would be excluded. Yes, we've been providing an alternative to a pupil referral unit, working with the school, inside the school, with some smaller groups of very challenging children, and the behaviour improvement there is significant as well. So we're looking to expand that into the future too. And that's happening at other schools. Here, meanwhile, you've got military mentors who have been working during the year. It's really been on test here. Do you think the school is going to continue with that work? Yes, they are. We're going to start in September again with a new year 10 group, uh, and I'm sure that'll be successful and because it'll be the second year the school know what to expect from us and we know what to a little bit I suppose expect from the school as well so the relationship will get better okay. so it should be good. Peter Cross thank you very much indeed I mean when you talk to teachers here they will tell you that there are pupils that obviously are difficult but at the same time getting them engaged in the classroom they believe is one of the key things to encourage them to stay there.